Welcome back to this morning. It's so lovely to have your company. And for our final request, that was SOS, chosen by Mark. Thank you for getting in touch. Uh, I loved our request today. It's been the best, Thank you, it? everyone. Thank you so Wonderful. much. Now, listen, according to experts, when it comes to beauty myths, misinformation and rumours, they are literally everywhere. Uh, we filtered them all out through the generations, haven't we? It's interesting, though, isn't it? Because part of me loves that. I love that, what you learn from your mother and your grandmother, you yeah. know, how that goes down. Yeah. But today, we are joined by beauty expert Nadine Bagger, a friend of the show. Come on, she's part of the family. Well, she's uh, been to here uncover a long the time. truth. Exactly. And re I really <laughs> have. And reveal the myths we've been believing for years. Hi, Nadine. Good morning. How I think, are you? I, I thought we'd just bust some myths that yeah. not only our grandmothers and our mothers tell us, but also that TikTok has a tendency to promote as Yeah, well. I'm obsessed with TikTok. Chicken so the top let's one. start this one, OK? Oh, Do you think dry shampoo actually shampoos your hair? No. No. It doesn't. It, oh, and this is based off the fact of... Jonathan Ross only saying he had a, a shave a or shower. a shower every two weeks, OK? <laughs> Which I think is slightly weird, right? I like okay. the smell of it, though. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. And a lot of hairdressers use it to volumise hair. But unless you absolutely brush like crazy, it's going to stay in your hair, it's going to absorb the sebum and sweat, and eventually you're going to have to yeah. wash it out. Yeah. It does not replace a So does it market wash. itself, because I never use dry shampoo, does it market itself that you use it instead of yeah. normal shampoo? So it extends the length between shampoos, but stylists have a tendency to use it to give it a bit of grit and oomph to hair, because ah, they quite body. like... They like day-old hair, yeah. but they like that sort of body thing. So, yeah, it's a bit of a myth. The latest one on the block, though, which is the easiest one to use, actually comes in a little pomodoro. Can I open yeah. that up the minute you strap it? that? Look at that. It's like a little... That's hair dry. Oh. So you literally just go down your roots. You don't have to spray it, so it everywhere has a, it like has a this. Place. It absolutely has a place. It does not replace... It's like powder. ..washing your hair, OK? Yeah. And interestingly enough, when we were growing up, we were told that to wash your hair too often was bad for it. Mm -hmm. Trichologists tend to want you to wash your hair most days, if you can. Most days? Most days, oh, if no. you can. Oh, no. I can't brother, be bothered. I haven't got time for that, man. Man. It's, it's the styling. So it's long. the styling. I would suggest, rather than washing your hair every day, just try having a shower every day. Even if it's just... That I can do. Your bits, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on to the you biggest TikTok myth of all. Oh, go on. Have you heard the one that rosemary oil will help you lose your... If you're losing your hair, if, you're, if you've gone a bit thin or... I have top. heard it. OK, it's an absolute myth. There was a oh. study done about... 20 years ago, that's been disproved. This is the gold standard product. It's the only product that's proven to work. This is 5% minoxidil in a product called Regain, which is available from the pharmacy. Interestingly enough, it's also the gold standard for women, even though they sell a lower percentage for women. And guess what? The women's cost more. Buy the men's. That's not it's fair. foam, pink tax. And it's the same thing. Yep, pink tax. Can you buy I didn't, the I didn't same... This, it's not my fault. No, it's not your fault. <laughs> also, you've got a stonkingly good head of hair, so you'll never actually need it, Mr. Ross. You're never going to need this. Oh, OK. Don't good. worry. Have you heard that Vaseline or castor oil helps your eyebrows or your eyelashes grow? No, no, I've not heard I that, do but I do have a pot of Vaseline. To, I think Vaseline. I have a pot of Vaseline all everywhere in my house. That's the best occlusive. Yeah. Moisturiser, dermatologists love it, costs absolutely nothing. Yeah. But it doesn't. It absolutely does not little, promote hair growth at all. Doesn't promote eyelashes or eyebrows. But there are products available from the high street, rapid lash, rapid brow, proven to work, and actually originally derived from a drug that was caused, that was used when people had glaucoma, and they noticed that when elderly people use their glaucoma drugs, their eyelashes grew. Stop it. They ended up looking a bit Hammond, yeah. It was absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. And that's how those products were developed. They're now available. That byproduct brow, thing is really lash. interesting, isn't so it? So clever. Things I love that. Like the, like the family tree of yep. how stuff gets... When you trace them down. Does... I bet your mum told you this, right? Now, Alison isn't interested in this because it's not no. her favourite chocolate, but does chocolate give you spots? I bet your mum told you that of when you were younger. Well, it does, doesn't it? It's yeah. sugar. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Absolutely not. Oh. Again, so cool. feel free. Do some research. Spots yeah. <laughs> are caused by hormones. They're Ooh, caused by an overproduction terrible. of sebum. Interestingly enough, no single product actually causes spots. And I think, in a way, it's if somebody does have really bad acne, telling them what to eat only makes things worse. Yeah. It just doesn't help So it's at a all. hormone imbalance, It's a hormonal isn't it? issue, absolutely. And it's a sensitivity to the hormones. Would you mind not ruining I'm the so set? sorry. Is that OK? <laughs> I'm it's so Alison sorry. I'm if, however, you do have breakouts, don't use the toothpaste. Oh, my toothpaste. son does that? Yep, no, it's does an it absolute not work? Mess. Yeah, See, absolute mess. Aiden. Doesn't work, so Aiden. You know. It doesn't work. Two face on Listen spots. to your mum's friend. Doesn't it doesn't work. work. What, what does work? Well, these. We're going to send him home with a 2% salicylic from the Inky List. Absolutely proven to work. Cleans out your pores. There you go. There's a 2% from Paula's Choice, which is a bit more expensive. I've been using that. It's Have brilliant. You? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. 
Great on shaving rashes. I haven't got any spots. No, I just found it, so I started using it. You probably stole it from one of my items. <laughs> Very and funny. if that doesn't work, acne side is 5% benzoyl peroxide. If so that that's doesn't better work, than toothpaste. Absolutely. Then you go to your GP if those two don't work. OK, fine. Can you massage away cellulite? Yes. Yes. You absolutely cannot. Oh. And can I just say, oh. your hairdresser's is desperate to steal this. This is Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I like the other colour, you know, the, the orange one. Oh, but here's the here's smell this one. Uh, so the, I, there was a myth that you could massage away cellulite oh. with a gadget like that and with a gorgeous cream. That just smells lovely. It's a beautiful body moisturiser. Yeah, but I don't mind if someone wants to just rub my thighs with that and some cream. I've got a sore shoulder. Right. I, don't don't my know, shoulder. I don't know what to say here. Who's Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm I sure like there's someone is, out there. This might not be Facebook, <laughs> this might be OnlyFans, right, this content. I'm in for a penny, I'm in for a pound. Do you know what I mean? It's it nice to do that it for yourself, feels lovely, isn't it? But don't expect to melt away fat. Okay, it's such fine. an old school style. So what does? Uh, Surgery. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we love Alison Hammond. Tell it like... Bit of lipo. The truth of the it. matter is only exercising more. But it, more good, and it does flush it out, doesn't it? it does no. Flush, no, it doesn't. You can't flush that out. It's <laughs> no, not no, water-soluble. No, uh, uh, OK, we all do this, Oh, I right? love a good tweezer. Do we, do we pluck the hairs on oh, our chin? Oh, literally. Not that I get any. No, no, me neither. Actually, I'm telling a lie. I do get them. Please and show. even worse Excuse now... Excuse me. Even worse la, 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 now, la, 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 I get hairs on my chin and they're grey. Right. So the question is, should you pluck them? Will two grow back in its place? Yeah, good question. Does pl plucking make hair grow back thicker? Does shaving... No, I no. don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Does it, it really not? doesn't. Again, it's driven by your hormones. So could I have a, a shave free, if I wanted to? Feel free to pluck <laughs> and She's shave away. Instead of, instead of causing myself pain, can I just give it myself a little shave? You can. Now, here's the thing, though. When you pluck hair, OK, it goes out for longer because you pull it out Oh, of the yeah, I'll do that. And when that. it grows back, it grows back with a fine end. I prefer If a you shave, you cut it, it's blunted, so it feels like it's thicker. And so it has oh, more of a tendency to grow back in. I think, actually, you're better off using a hair removal cream which dissolves the hair yeah. at the root. And not, you can get them for the face as well. Not so that they, women have any hair. Not that facial Alison hair. and I have grey no. beards. Grey beards, we don't. We don't. <laughs> Little hairs that come out, like it's a toothbrush, myth. little yeah. things. That's a myth. Yeah, women <laughs> don't get beards. Is that what you done it? That's yeah, so that's good. Have you Does not this hurt at all, or is it just can you just put it on? No, no, no. no that's so it easy. It mildly yeah. exfoliates. You can put it all over your body. Rinse it off after ten minutes. It's absolutely amazing. amazing. Have you got the shopping all the... trolley? I just find out. I find so much in these Where's items. Where's the shopping trolley? Like, it's down in your dressing room. Oh, okay, we get it. All the products. Can I just say are on the app? Thank you so much, Nadine. Thanks, Nadine. That was so so good. Now, one of.